I want to bring in our legal experts to talk uh, about this. Ellie Honig, to you first, is is a counter report. Is that normal? Uh it could be. Look, the, the White House clearly expects to see the report in advance, and they're bracing for this because I think they understand that this will be a monumental moment when that report goes over to the attorney general. Because at that point, it's really more of a milepost than a finish line. But I think they, the White House fully realizes that that is where the big questions start to get asked. And we're going to see an enormous, I think, multi-branch rumble over that report. Who gets to see it? what goes to Congress, what comes out in the public, and we're going to be talking about big principles, separation of powers, checks and balances, due process. So we're about to see a big multi-branch rumble break out. And, and Michael Zeldin, walk us through what this sets in motion. What is the process of what happens once this has gone to the attorney general? Right. So the attorney general receives the confidential report of Mueller. It does not go to the White House. It only goes to Barr. Barr then has to review it and make a determination what he's going to notify Congress of. That would include the fact that Mueller is done and whether or not in the course of the Mueller investigation, he or the Justice Department, that is, denied Mueller any investigative tools that he wanted to use, such as a subpoena of the president. That's where it begins and ends for the Justice Department. In the receipt of this report, Barr finds that there's executive privilege arguable materials that he wants to release to Congress, then he will show those portions of his report to the White House first before the release. Then it all goes over to Congress to see if they're happy with what he's sent to them or whether they want to do some sort of subpoena for the whole report and the underlying documents, because it's not just the report. That could be a very skeletal thing. It's all of the appendices that one would normally have in a report that is most relevant to the House to make a determination politically about whether there's anything that they should be doing about that which that, Mueller gathered. That came into play definitely with the Clinton impeachment, for sure. It's a very good point, Michael. So, Shannon, as you see the president laying out what's really a PR strategy, they're trying to, the White House is trying to uh, create this expectation that the president may be exonerated by anything that doesn't have collusion, specifically by him in this report, uh, you know, legally though, what are the issues for the president moving forward, not just here, but in other investigations that have spun off of this? I think legally the problem is no matter what is released, there's going to be negative type information. And so legally he's facing so many different investigations. He's got the congressional investigations, he's got the Southern District case. This is simply going to lay out the foundation for where all that came from. So that's generally going to be a very, very unpleasant experience for him. Generally a very unpleasant uh, experience. Understated there, Shan Wu, Ellie Honig, Michael Zeldin, thank you so much.